Oklahoma has had its share of serious issues regarding the care of Oklahoma veterans. This week, Governor Mary Fallon and other leaders asked veterans to help the state do a better job when it comes to providing for their health care. All vets are asked to take part in a survey which will help the state create an action plan for needed reforms. There are close to 400,000 military men and women living in Oklahoma. 340,000 of them are veterans. Providing medical care for all those who have served our country can be complicated. Frank Martinez is a service officer at American Legion Post No. 1 in Tulsa. He assists fellow veterans with accessing VA services. Martinez says when it comes to health care, it's especially problematic if a veteran has a health emergency and needs to call an ambulance. But if you're having a stroke or a heart attack or say that you have some kind of illness, you have to call the number and get permission. That's, that's insane. Martina says without prior permission, a vet gets a bill from the hospital. You get billed all this money and you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars, then you have to go through the routine of calling the VA, asking them, can you please cover these medical bills? Then you have to get approval. Once you get the approval, then they take care of that. Veteran Deidre Ashlock has had two visits to the emergency room that she ended up paying for out of pocket. She and other veterans interviewed for this story say getting in to see a specialist is also a hassle. If it's like a specialty, um, you might have to wait longer than 10 days. It depends on they have to uh, get it cleared through some place before they can send you. And you have to wait like 30 days. And if they don't send you to a place, then they send you somewhere outside the VA. So. A little complicated. Yeah, a little complicated. The state of Oklahoma wants to address such complaints through a new online questionnaire called the Take 10 Survey because the 24 questions take about 10 minutes to answer. It can be accessed at okvethealth.com. Mark Kinders, Vice President of Public Affairs at the University of Central Oklahoma, helped develop the survey. The critical thing to remember about this for any veteran who participates is that this is anonymous. We don't care who you are, we're looking for aggregated data so we can really find out where the problems are, where the pinch points are at in Oklahoma so we can come up with optimal solutions. Governor Mary Fallon says the questionnaire is designed to address many different aspects of VA health services. Is there too much paperwork in accessing veteran services? Is there too much red tape or is it fine? Uh, is there uh, ease and scheduling appointments and getting services, how can we better make sure that access to that services is easier to get to. Kinder says the questionnaire is also seeking information about equitable care. And it's asking the question of whether a female Gulf War veteran who resides in Anadarko has the same access to information and health care access as say a male Vietnam veteran who lives in Salisop. One issue many veterans talk about is the need for more regional facilities. If you have a disability claim in for something, only Muskogee can do it, and they, they have the whole state to compensate for on this side, so it can kind of take a while to get in there. Most of the specialty, or if you need to uh, see a certain doctor, you have to go, they see you in Muskogee. I think they need more resources here instead of have to travel. Once the data is analyzed, the next step will be to develop a better model of care for veterans. Director of Veterans Family Services, Pete Peterson, applauds the undertaking. This data will be used to make Oklahoma health care 10 times better than what it is right now for all of the veterans of the state of Oklahoma. The window of time to answer the questionnaire closes in six weeks. At least 4,000 respondents are needed to create good data for analysis.